Welcome back, Okraheads. Halo Okraheads here, just bringing you a go wee wee attack for this uh, today's video here. Now, this is a good strategy here. It's not my attack again. I'm still working on my ground troops, but this is uh, our Winterfell here, number seven. He's going two up to their number five, and he's not even um, bringing in hardly any. Uh, the heroes are so low, it's ridiculous how low this is. But with a solid attack, you don't need strong heroes. Yes, they're comparable to the defenders, but then again, the base is very difficult. So here he brings in his golems um, and some wizards on the outside. Now, uh, he put that heal spell there to heal up his golems. That's That way, when they come into the center, they'll be maxed health. And here he brings in his witches. Very nice placement there. All his witches are going in towards the center. This is a very unique de defensive base. Um, lots of uh, different kind of avenues, pathways where those troops to go through. Um, here he's... Uh, Kind of uh, all his witches are jumped together. Luckily, those double giant bombs uh, didn't take him out. Now, his uh, golems there to the right side are, are being taken out by that dragon. Luckily, he has two wizards to take some of those clan castle troops out. If he didn't have those wizards over there, this raid would have not have been the three star. So how did he go about doing it? Well, um, you know, he definitely brought... Plenty of, of nice troops here. Sadly, his king and queen went to the outside. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose. It would have been probably better if they went in towards the inside um, to kind of cost, be able to tank for some of those uh, witches there. But luckily, there's no splash damage taking out those witches towards the north on the town hall. Uh, that's huge. That way they stay alive and able to produce those skeletons. And so his troops in the south, that king and queen, actually are kind of doing nice work down there. That way he'll get that three-star and won't run out of time. Uh, so he has plenty of troops left, and he just funneled very nicely at the very beginning, got those witches in to go towards the center. If he was early on the witches, they would have gone on the outside of the um, base. And if they had done that, this raid would have been a big fail. So that's the first attack now i'm going to bring you the second attack from the very same player he's actually attacking here's mirror but he only gets the two star so what happens this is a worse base um same troop composition everything the exact same uh, but what goes wrong he has a decent spread on the golems i think it would have been better to have a little wider spread that way they would have um, caused some more protection for those uh, wizards there and uh, everything's going about the same again but what happens is see those wizards in the south are being taken out by that cannon and he's also a little late on the rest of the witches so late in fact that when he drops those witches they're going to go towards the outside and towards instead of towards the center if you drop the witches earlier and some of those um, other wizards uh, look as they go south there all those witches go south he didn't drop them soon enough so you know timing is everything in this game and of course when you're in the moment attacking it's very difficult to keep your composure figure out when to attack so that's why this raid failed he just didn't have enough firepower behind those golems um, and all those units towards the south there they'd be taken out by the mortar and the wizard tower so no protection there for those wizards down there in the uh, southwest there. So, you know, this raid, although the two stars are nice, you know, it, it, you know, two star is very nice. You know, that's the difference between the three and the two star. Just, you know, troop placement, uh, the AI just kind of went off. Um, and so because of that, his troops were just taken out way too quickly, more so than if they were in the center. You know, they need that protection. And <laughs> If you notice that golem way in the north there, he got stuck on a wall, so he was pointless, provided no tank. So, anyways, just want to bring you those two goey wee attacks and just how, you know, the exact same troop composition, two different total outcomes. So, uh, you know, there's hopefully that will help you out when you are making your own um, ground attacks, go wee wee attacks, um, so you can, you know, just perfect your attack. And again, it's just a slow slow journey to getting better and better so anyways guys thanks again for watching i appreciate it and i will continue to be bringing you some great videos along the way but as always guys we will see you next time halo out